Hello, hello everybody, welcome to the Scientist Room. Um, today we're taking a look at the Strike Multipad by Elisa. Let me get on my stream. <clears throat> okay, so I've got, well, they sent me this a couple of days ago, so I've only had it a few days. Um, so I am going to be doing like more in-depth, detailed tutorials for this, like sort of going over everything because it can be it can be quite involved, but um, it's 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 pretty easy once you get your head around the actual uh, system of how it works. Hey, Tony Duncan, and Stephen, Ed, Ho hey, how's that? Hi, hi. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty cool. You can do some extremely extremely fun stuff with this. Now it looks like I'm a bit wonky, though, so I need to adjust it a little bit, I think. And uh, let me just see if I can do this with my camera. Not sure what right, look right actually. There we go. That looks right ish. <laughs> <coughs> right, so hopefully you can see I've got the iPad. Now what, what's happening here, right? Is I've got the iPad's output plugged into the audio inputs on the uh strike. Okay. Uh because it it's it's a sampler. It's a sampler as well. But it, it's it's a pretty cool sampler. So also in the back here, you might see there's a little USB stick. On there is another load of samples loaded. So you can just load samples from the USB stick. Uh, it has over it has about eight thousand samples included that you get with it when you buy it, sort of thing. Well, when you get it, well, it, when I got it, it's had eight thousand samples, about eight thousand samples in there. And hey, hi Dean, I'm glad you're here. And 32 gig of internal storage for you to install your own. Now, I will be importing some of Dean's samples into this as well. And there are already some of Dean's samples in here from his reflective pack. That's one of them. Okay, so everything in this particular pack is all custom. So it's it, it there's three loops here. Now you see this is pulsing along here. I'm gonna explain all the lights. You can customize absolutely everything in this. It's insane. The customization is is just is just crazy. So I'm just gonna give you a quick blast and then we're gonna input some more stuff and and then uh <clears throat> we'll go we'll go through some of the you know, we'll we'll just have a blast. But this really this really needs um tutorials for each section however i shall uh i shall close the microphone out and have a bit of a jam and get back to you in a second then we'll put some stuff on this one which has got no sound i don't know if you can see but down here it says no sound why is me why does my camera keep moving around like that it's weird right okay it says no sound it says no so i've got no sound in these two here now you can stack up to two samples per per watt as well okay so I am going to play this thing for a minute and then we're going to put some more samples and stuff in and, and do some cool stuff. So there you go. So you can build up, you can put loops. It doesn't even matter how long they are. You can put a full song on one of them, bling, set it off to go and away it will go. Now here's the thing, right? On this particular, on these pat, on these three loops, on these three loops at the top, on these top three pads, you'll hear there's a cymbal crash. The cymbal crash is another sample on top of the loop. So that when I fire the loop off, it hits the symbol. So this fill has got one as well, but I haven't got that loop in. 
I've just got it one shot. So you can set these pads to do what all sorts of cool stuff. One shot alternate, and we're going to go through that as well. So in this pan here, okay, I'm going to show you how easy it is to import your stuff from your your USB stick. Okay, um, it's insanely weird. This is why that keeps moving. I can't, hang on. And I don't know why that is. Anyway. <clears throat> right, okay. So let's tap a pad. Any of the pads that we tap, we can select. But let's go to where it says sound here. And you'll see I'll tap this pad and it says no sound. You've got wave A and wave B. It means you can stack up to two sample, well, one, one sample or loop or whatever, and another sound, etc., on top of uh, one another. Plus it's got a sample editor as well, which it. <laughs> right, so no sound, but if I hit this one, you'll see that it says impact zero two, and it says new sample, because new, when it's new sample, it's the samples that I've imported. Okay, so we'll go back to this one where it says no sound, I shall move this down to where it says empty. I shall highlight it and then go to user here. And then I can skip over there to where it says China Acoustic and then go all the way down to new sample and there are the new samples. If we go up there now and go all the way down to the bottom there, you'll see that it ends where it these, it ends at these here. See? Tells you what they are as you as you strike the pad. But I've just applied that sound to that pad. So if I wanted to apply, say, this Teco medium, which I sampled from Garage Band, Garage Band. So it's an absolute piece of cake to apply a sign patches to, patches to pads, you know, sounds to pads. It's dead, dead easy. I want to import some new ones so you can see how easy it is to do it. So you hit import here and it'll read the USB memory and we can see what's on our USB in a sec when it's ready. There it goes. So all these sounds here, these are all that are on this USB stick now that in the back. <coughs> and it won't just read wave, it'll read all sorts of stuff. It's just had an update. When they sent it me, I hadn't had the update, so I updated it and it was so easy just put the update onto the stick. So scrolling all the way down here, so we have some we have some jazz drums and stuff and like uh, this loop here as well. Now we can highlight it, we can hear the loop. Uh, the sound. So we can. We can listen to what we're going to import. But I want to import this ARP A sharp, which I recorded in Cubasis earlier, which is this. And this one here, which is this, which is one semitone down. Now the thing is here, right? To import anything off your sample, off your sample pad, Right, off your off your imported samples to a pad. All you need to do is let's say for instance, I'm gonna put there's nothing on this one so for now. So I shall go down here and I I shall put this. Uh, <clears throat> let's see, we've got some jazz snare, jazz hats, jazz tom. Um Actually, I'll put that one on because I think we're 120 BPM yet. Yeah. Now you can't change this. You can't change the tempo of like the loops. Do you know what I mean? So you can't like put a 120 loop in, a uh, wave loop, and then speed it up and slow it down. Don't work like that. All we need to do is is make sure it's highlighted what we want here, and this happens to be uh, this. That I'm going to put that onto this pad here where there are no um, sounds like that. And uh, you can see which pad we're on by. I need to get off this, hang on a sec. Uh, no, so sound, right. Otherwise I'm gonna be importing it onto this one here. 
So you have to make sure that the pad you want is highlighted at the top here, you can see. Otherwise, you'll get into all sorts of confusion <coughs> as you do. So anyway, we can go and find it again. Dead easy here. So user, go all the way to the bottom where samples are. Go down and I want to find my samples on my memory. USB memory stick, yep. And dick, 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 that electro beat one there, this one. And just hit single and it'll just import it to this pad. It's done. Now, because it's a one shot, that would just play around and carry on sort of thing. Well, I want it to be, uh, I want that to be a loop. So we just go to our browse and where it says mode here, you can change it. At the moment it's on one shot. We can just hit this and go to loop and it'll do round robin and all sorts of cool stuff. So it's, it's, it really is, it, they've well they've thought this out, at least as have. They've thought, hang on a minute, how can we make this really easy? Because now you've got a loop on that now. And this will just keep looping around. Okay. Until I hit it again because it's a loop. So hitting a loop will stop and start it at the same time. Okay. Right, so we've got that on there. <clears throat> On this one, I want to put a baseline that we had uh, that I wanted to find. So you can see that this pad's highlighted. If I tap on this one, I can't, you see it really hard to see, but in the corner, there's a little graph representing the actual thing. And it actually says pad P1, pad P2, pad P1, it'd be pad eight, uh, seven, eight, nine sort of thing. Once you've got, you've highlighted on any particular action, any pad that you hit stays on that action. So if we watch this, we go, see it's a one shot, one shot, one shot, loop, one shot. And then this will be loop. So you're not like having to dive into the memory every single time, just every single time you just tap it, you can just access whatever parameter is you wanted to change for anything. Right, okay. Now I'm gonna import that loop. Right, <clears throat> so we go to import again. This time I'm just gonna put them both into the sample, uh, into into the strikes, just the strikes memory. Okay, so here we go. ARP one and ARP two, uh, which is uh, uh, A sharp and A. Highlight, like I said before, you can highlight them just by scrolling down on a jog wheel like this, but push it will highlight the actual sample and then push it again. We can now import both of those or I could go down and import more. We'll just press multi now and this will import both of those. Take too long. Okay, that's done. So let's go back to browse. That's the pad that I want to put that ARP on. Not that, I don't want that taco sound on it. Okay, so let's do this. We're already in our user. And if we go all the way down to the bottom now, you will see that ARP A and ARP A sharp have now been imported into our user bank. So that's how easy it was. So I could have just did a big multi-import of stuff. And it's 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 done. Like I said, you've got 32 gig of storage, you know. <coughs> right is insanely massive <coughs> excuse me right so i want this one on this pad cool beans and it'll stop after two bars because i haven't set it to loop it let's do wave b right okay so all we need to do is to change the wave we're assigning as we hit wave this one here and this will be on wave b now and we go down to here, go down to user, and 
go down to multi samples. I haven't worked out how to re recategorize it yet. So maybe you needed some sort of desktop thing. I don't know. <coughs> but they're all there anyway. It doesn't matter as long as you know what they're called. It's fast. Okay, so we enter new sample here. Enter and A sharp I want as well <clears throat> for sound B. Okay, this is where this gets really cool, right? So now I've got A sharp as the A sharp part of sound B. Obviously, if I play these both now, it's going to sound messy, right? Because they're both playing at the same time. Don't want that. What I want to set this to do is every time I hit it, it will change it'll change to the next loop sort of thing is peasy mode so on wave b mode and at the moment it's on one shot i'm going to set this to a round robin and then i'm going to go to wave a and i'm also going to set that on round robin so now Now this isn't going to work so because I'm not really thinking this through because I want them to loop. So this I'm going to change. To a, the A sharp one. And it's already set for loop because the last thing that was on there was loop. And this one, I'm going to um, select wave B and take the sound off it. So now I've just got the A on this one. Turn the volume up. So now what I need to do is set them both to loop. Okay, so... Yeah, they're, they're, they are expensive, but all this iron gear, isn't it? Uh, when it stops. Right, now I want to set this one to loop. So now, what I don't want to have happen is if I want to swap them and change them, I want to, so I need to assign these to two mute groups. So I'm going to assign these to groups two, group mute group two, because these are on mute group one, if you know what I mean. If we go to our uh, pad selection here and, and go to groups, you'll see group one and group one. So these, I want to assign to group two. So now what will happen is, <coughs> what will happen is I'll fire this off and then as soon as I hit this, it'll stop that and start that. And either or will carry on looping <clears throat> until we stop them. So now we've separated both of those off on two independent pads to stop and start with, with our mute groups. Now, kit effects. Let's apply some flanger. With a level of... So you've got a load of effects. You have three effect slots for the pads, okay? So you could have a flanger on this one, a flanger on this one, independently control the levels like you've just seen, just because I've got flanger for uh, effect one. I've just controlled a level for the flanger for either or pad. But then you could have a delay on this one, reverb on this one, something else on this one. Then you've got a ton of master effects as well. So... You've got loads of effects to, to mess around with. Oh, loads of built-in effects. Look, if I select effect edit two, at the moment it's on bypass. 
but we've got a basic hall. Right, actually, let's apply this to something. Let's assign this to to this one, so you might hear, actually hear it. So. It's hard to tell because that sound already had a, um, but we've got echo, echoes, choruses, flanges, phases, tremolos. Be good if you've got a guitar sample in there or something. Was pitch changer. You can do some, quite some. Cool stuff at the pitch changer, actually. And of course, the level of ass assigning is is entirely up to you. So we've got nine uh, effect. We've got a, a send of about. So now we've got that pitch change effect on there. And if we, if we, the thing is now, right. Part level four effects. You can't apply two effects at once. Okay, so that's in. That's important. You, you can't like double up on effects on these pad. You can separate them out however you like. <clears throat> Radio, cool. So there's your effects. Then you've got like uh, a bunch of um, master effects as well. So, so we've got our flanger on there. Uh, is that FX pair pad or global or both? Right, no. This is the kit effects. The kit effects are pair pad. Okay. You, you what you can do, you have if we go into kit effects, these are these work pair pad. Okay. What you need to do is you hit a sign like this. Okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm hitting the wrong one here. You hit a sign, you select the effect you want. Whether it be one, two, or three, and you hit a sign, choosing the effect, then you can set the level for each pad. Okay, so the level for each pad. Kit two, you can put like, so I can have a flanger on this, a delay on this, a delay on that, and a delay on that. And then maybe like some chorus on this, chorus on that, and chorus on that. But I can't have a delay and a flanger on that, or a delay and a flanger on the chorus. Okay, you can set and mix the levels of the, the, the effects however you like pair pad. Then these, the master effects, apply globally. Okay, so you have an effects, a compressor, okay, and an EQ. So there's your EQ, there's your compressor. Then you can set it standard type of compression. So you've got a standard compressor. And then you have effects, global effects. So you have a global EQ, a global compressor, and then a global set of effects as well as the watts effects. And they're the same as your, they're the same as your thing, but they will apply to the whole kit, okay? So that they will apply all over the kit. And that's, you know, that's kind of, because you have a dry wet mix on the globals, okay? So, for instance, this is the, the global hall. We bypass it. So, maybe. only want a little bit of that effect over the entire kit sort of thing. Yes, I don't want any of that on there. Now, <clears throat> <coughs> yeah, it's great, it's great. So you have, like I said, you have these like three, 
Then you also have these, which you can kind of assign to control various effects during the course of your performance, like cut off and all. I haven't got that for you. I actually did mess around with it today, but. So now we want to set up some lights. Now I've got these top ones all at the same color because they are kind of like that lindrum sound that I had. And I've got them flashing like this, a flash, 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 like that, in time with the beat. And I've got this one pulsing just to basically remind me it's a, <clears throat> it's a fill. This, which is all, also a, um, a loop, isn't it? So what we'll do is with this one, we shall um, go to our pad section here does this is our pad control now pardon me now this is where you can set your thresholds your, your curve you know your velocity curve this is like for the feel the sensitivity then the control what we want to be looking at light and this is where you also set your group so i've got you remember i set it to uh, mute group too so i've got it on mute mode the sync mode is mute but you've also you've got different sync modes as well. You've got mute, cycle, random, together, hi hat, which is if you it's hi hat's cool if you've got a hi hat pedal plugged in because it'll just cycle around a load of the pads you've got in there. Anyway, I'm getting a, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Lights, play color is white. So if I hit this, that'll light up white. Stop color is is sky blue. So let's change the play color to yellow because we can yellow is quite nice. You can see yellow. Okay. So we hit that. Now we go play mode. Right, because it's a this at the moment it's on audio, audio breath. This is audio meter. So it looks like a bit of a like a VU. Then you've got trigger. And then you've got audio breath, then you've got fill, and this will just track across like a, to give you an indication of the loop. So you're actually getting feedback from the lights. And then there's BPM pulse on the set on one fourth, it's set on one eighth. So we could set the beat, play beat to one quarter or sixteenths. We'll leave it on one quarter and I'll change this mode to audio meter, quite like that. And I'll also do it for this one while I'm here. And I'll also change the color to yellow. And on this one, we'll change the stop color. That's the color it's gonna be when it's not running. We'll change that to, I don't know, purple. And this one to purple. So we're keeping some sort of semblance. Okay. Uh, oh, 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 other than this, the, we've, to get it to do the Cylon thing, right, which is pretty cool. We could get it to do that on Dean's. That stab thing that I've got some flange or something on or whatever it is, I'll put on there. Uh, I think it's flange, isn't it? Not pitch change on effects one. Yeah, flange. Yeah. At that level. To, to let's change the lights to do the um, thing. So. We want to be going down to stop mode because this is what we wanted to do when it stopped. Stop mode is solid medium. And then it'll start to bing, bing, bing now. When it's finished, it takes ages, it's a long sample. So you see we've got stop color is red. Stop mode is Pong, so we know it's not running, but we know it's, you know. So this is the kind of this is the kind of cool stuff you can do, the fun stuff, you know. But it's also giving you like 
like like like loads of visual feedback for what you're actually actually doing now other than this on the side here where it says alesis and also on the back these if we go into our hang on a sec what's it mode now if i go into you not utility um kit settings so general kit settings and kit settings and this is for every single kit in here now you get 30 user 30 factory kits that they've thrown in for you fully editable and then 70 user kits so a total of 100 kits you know or you can like save them back them up to your what's it <clears throat> you can see now here where i've gone to kit okay these are the kits that i've already Kind of, and these will all remember. I don't need to keep pressing save or anything. When I make adjustments, it it remembers the adjustments that I've made. So these are the these are the kits here. If I go to browse, these are the kits that I've made in the last few days. You should see how quick it is to to actually th use it. All the lights, all the side, all the logos, everything is customizable per kit. So if we go to settings here, you'll see. Kit kit level is at 100. This is general kit level <coughs> for the entire kit. Kit tempo is 120. Right, this is important, right? Because if you're making loops, if you want to record some loops or record, like you know, record your own loops in, into 120, you need to be keeping time is the right thing to do because otherwise, because you can't stretch audio samples and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So that's the way you want to be going with that. If if what you know, set your initial empty kit for the, the speed that you're going to import any loops into. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we can go we can go down here to logo color. And where it says sky blue, if we change this to red, or oh, change it to another color, I'll change it to red. See it changing? So we could change it to yellow. And there's one on this side as well. And there's also one on the back here. And while you're at the back, you can see what is kind of included. So you get US, USB with USB slots plugged into. Uh, MIDI in and out, uh, left and right. And then I can't see what's underneath there. But you have you, the, the, you can plug your trigger stuff in there, like kick pedals and stuff. Uh, you have other uh, your, your normal USB for connecting to your computer. It's an also a <coughs> then we have the audio in. It's also an audio interface as well, so you can use it as an audio interface, which is pretty good. Now, uh, where was I? Uh, gone. I think I've done that yet. Yeah. We can get the actual the, the the logos on the sides as well to pull some flash and stuff. Either with the beat or when you hit them, stuff like that. Is anyone still there? No one's saying anything. Is it? Is it? Is me? Am I still live? I mean, someone say hello. It'd be good. Just to know. Just to know. Just to know. I'm still. I'm still. I'm still broadcasting. <laughs> um. Oh, brilliant! Hi. Oh, oh, great! Top job. Top job. Thanks, Tony. Right. So now we've got this. We've got this. Um, We've set up the colors that we want for everything. And it doesn't take long because, like I said, once you're in, <clears throat> if, we, if we go to pad again, like I said, once you're in light mode, say setting colors and say we're setting our, our colors for everything, as soon as you, it's changing for every pad so you can just make adjustments really quick. Right, now, I've got some nice sounds. And I am just going to now uh, audio record something onto this. So I'm going to take the effects off that that I put on earlier. <clears throat> I just want to give you an idea of how you could watch it. But would you have thought these companies like this would develop some AUV3 stuff? Probably. <laughs> um, right. <clears throat> right. So kit effects. Where was I? So effects two, I had a pitch change. Because if I don't take it off now, if I don't take it off now, I'll 
I'll f I'll forget and it'll still be on now when I apply another effect to it. And there's no thing that's cool. No level on these, so that's just that. <coughs> there you go. Now, okay, I'm gonna go to sound, and there it is. And I'm just I'm gonna just take that off there for now. I could just replace it, but I'll just take it off. So we've got empty, right? Tis gone, tis gone the way. Now I've got to go into sample now. So we hit sample and now we're in audio sample mode, okay? And here is uh, one of Dean's sounds. Now this, like I said, the iPad is just plugged into the back of the, as soon as you plug the sound in, you're gonna get audio in. It's also an audio interface, but I'm not using, um, I'm not using one like this, okay? So this audio from the iPad, I don't know if you can see, I don't know if you can see. Audio from the iP audio out from the iPad is going into those two left and right, and this is Dean's sample from Reflective, and it's an A minor, so it'll. I can't preview pads while I'm in what's it mode, but it's an A minor. It's an A minor stab, so we're gonna keep. We're gonna stick with that because I know that these are A sharp and A minor, and then we'll adjust that one as well, just to give you an idea of of some of the cool stuff you can do. It is lovely, Dean. It's a lovely patch, even though you do say so yourself. Right, I'm gonna make. Let's get a level, eh? That sounds. That sounds pretty good to me. So now we can set this up for all sorts of cool stuff. Uh, let's. That's me. I've got that on loop. Right. So, arm to record. You can also have it like a a, a threshold, but it's recording now, right? So. Okay, let's stop. I keep thinking it's touch screen. <coughs> Save new sample. Let's play it. This is it. So there's that's the, the sample we've just sampled from the iPad. Save. Saving as sample 8088. Okay, so we can rename this anytime we like. Right, here we go. There it is, sample 8088. 8088. There it is. Let's rename this quickly um, to call it. So we hit rename. And then I'll call this. I can I'll just call it Dean1. Hang on. Dean. And then we can choose our type. And then Dean. And actually. I'll just change that to one. So we'll just leave that at Dean one. Save. And it'll call that sample Dean one so that we know when we go back to it at some point in the future, it's what it. Now what we want to do now is edit the sample. Okay, so we're in edit. So we can edit the start and the end. We can normalize it. We can alter the pitch. Now the, the pitch is cool. I'll show you that in a sec, but let's do, let's just get the sample right first. So let's do start and end. Uh, actually, let's, should we normalize? Overwrite, uh, overwrite. Now, this is cool because if you save as new, it'll give you two samples, one normalized, one not, but now it's, it is normalized. And let us, um, and I'm, I'm still in pad one, so that sample is actually there, but let us edit the start and end. And here's the start and end, okay, so, this is, you can, there are loads of ways you can do this, right? There's, there's this, these, the A-link controls control the end and the start of the sample, okay? 
these buttons control your kind of your coarseness and then you have like it in grid mode or free and then you can zoom as well so anyway we're not i'm not really want to get that accurate so i think pretty close that's even better we'll save that now okay to uh, let's just play with right so let's do this let's hit save and it is now it will say just save it well this will just save it but let's if we save slice, it will save anything that's outside of the actual trim things. Plus it'll save the new sample, but I'm just gonna hit trim and it'll just save the sample like it is now. And I can apply, save it now to my pad. So we can exit this now and then Now you see what I've done here, didn't you? I wanted to save it to that one where there's no sound. So I need to put back in what was there. <clears throat> Let me put that on there first. So it's all good fun, people. Right, so, um, blah, okay. New sample. Should be the last one actually, yeah, there it is. So, that's going on there. On here is going half A again. Right, so. So now theoretically, if I hit this pad here and then hit this, it should be in the same key. Nice. However, this one is a semitone up. So I want another sample maybe on here of this. <coughs> Now, I, what I could do now is set two samples and then retune them. Uh, it's an odd-looking thing. Looks like a car radio. One misjudged hit and they would enter that screen. Mm. I don't know, you know, most drummers hit things in the right place, didn't they, I guess? I don't know. Anyway. Ah, there you go. Nigel likes it. Excellent. Yes. No, yes, it doesn't. That's another weird thing. I'll show you that as well. Go to 42 minutes. I'll have to do another. I've got to do some more videos for this. Now, it doesn't do quantizing when you're recording loops. Strange. <laughs> but there you go. But if you're playing, you know, good for practicing, that is. But quantize will be handy. Right. So now, like I said, what I'm going to do is on this one, we're going to put that sample again, Dean 1. And I'll, I'll show you how to repitch your samples then, right? Okay, so we did the... Actually, I'll put it on there so it's it's corresponding with this A-sharp sequence here. So, uh, let's see. Um, ding. Go down there. Dean 1. And it should be the same. Right. Now, I'm also going to set mute grips for these as well, I think, just in case I want to do quick changes and I don't want them overlapping. So that's a good idea. So if we go to, um, sorry, our pad and group for this one. Three and three. Awesome. Now... No, this no God, no, that's not that's the that's the the um Akai Force. That is that's that's on another level. I'm about, I think it's way over twice the price of this. Right, so anyway, 
Now we've got, let's go back to perform. We've got Dean one there and Dean one there. This is the same as this. We need to edit the sound. We need to edit this sound. We need to retune it up one semitone, right? Because I'm going from A sequence to A sharp. So we need to do it. So we need to go to the pitch like this. Pitch. Now, <clears throat> you can't hear it now when I start it. You'll only hear it. You'll only hear the sound after I've saved it. <clears throat> so you have to know how many cents to go up to tune stuff, right? Which is a bit of a pain, but there you go. What can you do? All right. So we've got, I know, happens just know that one 100 cents equals one semitone. 1,200 cents equals an octave, okay? So I only want to go up one semitone. So we're going to go 100 cents here, okay? And then we're going to hit enter. No, sorry, but not. We're going to hit... Uh, it should just, I think, for saved. Right, so if I... I don't remember what I have to do it now. Yeah, there you go. So now we've got the one that's on A and the one that's on A sharp, and we've got this one that's on A and this one is A sharp. Just to give it a just to give it a bit of a thing, let's just see if that works, okay? might want to be doing and let's put I know you're not going to hear this but let's pan let's pan this this one over over so We've got a bit of panning going on as well now. Okay, so. And all this will be automatically saved to my Lim120 kit name sort of thing. Right, so. Let's go. Have to make makes you good at timing. So there you go. There are. Excuse me. Oh, we didn't even get a chance to have a look at some of the other kits. I'll do some. I'll have to do some more anyway, but because it's too involved. But I think if you, I think you get an idea that it's pretty. So does it come with onboard effects? Oh, oh, 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> it comes with st- tons of stuff. It comes with... It comes with... Right. Kit, <laughs> kit, if I go through it again. It comes with kit effects. Okay. The kit effects are effects you can apply per pad in any quantity you like. Well, not any, you can't stack effects. It comes with three effects. In the kit effects, it comes with three effects. So you've got flanges, choruses, echoes, delays, blah, 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 blah. I wanted to show you how, how, how you make your own kit from samples. As well. I will do that on another video in a week sometime. Building your own kit with samples. But you can you get the idea if you've got, like, say, now I, I had that Lin thing there, but what if I had the whole drum track? The whole, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm kidding, Paul. No, just loads of effects, loads of cool stuff you can do. Um... It it it'd be easy to hit them. It got car. No, it's not. It's not. You can't. It's... it's like any drum pad system, eh? Do you know what I mean? You you got to be. But I think they've designed this to take a whack. You know what I mean? <laughs> As they'd have to. It's all nice and all this is all spongy. This thick spongy rubber that they've built the pads out of as well. Anyway. I like it. I think it's great fun, actually. But I actually I could really find this really useful because, like I was saying, what if you put a whole drum track and even maybe a whole drum track and a bass line on one, one pad, then you've got your sequences and, and 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 all the rest of it to to go on. You know, excellent. I mean, not, not, they're not for everyone, are they? Drum pads, you know. But uh, it's, I don't know. right, so. Um, have we covered? Oh yeah, so you've got and you've and you've got mixed uh, master effects sort of things, and it's nice on the front. You've got two foot headphone jacks, one quarter inch, one eight inch jack. So that's quite nice. If you're gain level for loads of onboard effects, loads of them, loads. No onboard effects. You're having a laugh, ain't you, Rustic? Let me tell you the onboard effects you get, shall we? I'm sick and tired of people saying there's no onboard effect. You got a flanger. You got two flanges. You got a phaser. You got two phases. You got tremolo one, tremolo two, tremolo three. Touch wah, touch wah two. Pitch changer, pitch changer two. Lo fi, lo fi two. Amp one, amp two. You got an R filter, whatever that is. And an R filter two, and an R flanger, and a flanger two, and a ring modulation, and two ring modulators. Three, one, two. <laughs> and a bypass. You got a basic hall reverb. You've got a ballad hall reverb. And I can't remember. I'm bypassed. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> yeah, you got all sorts of effects here. You got, I mean, and you've got like, um, uh, <laughs> then, then, there's, then there's the independent kit effects, then there's the master effects that aff affect the whole, the whole kit and caboodle, if you like. Yeah, so that would, that's actually saved now, and you can see what's nice is you can see what's actually on the pads. Now, if you've got stuff plugged in, you can plug in six trigger pads like bass, kick drum, snares, clicky what's it, and then you've got some foot, foot, foot controllers you can plug stuff into as well. <coughs> so it's massively, massively expandable. Mm. Could be Tony, yeah. Although a reverse flange, I don't really know. The trouble is, I don't think there's a blinking manual. Can't find a manual anywhere. Right, anyway. So. That was that. We've built our link, our link kit. So if I go to kit now and I load in this next kit, which is hill. This sound. Midi in and out. Let me show you the back. Let me show you the back pull so you can see. Okay. So you have MIDI USB. This is for like doing stuff on your USB stick and stuff. Then you have, uh, sorry, you have loading your data and things like that. I've got this stick plugged in. This is where I've got all my samples. This is, this, yes, this is a local kit for local people, I say. Uh, what album's going to be right? So and then you've got um, USB MIDI. So this is an audio interface as well. And then you've got ordinary five pin in MIDI. Then you've got left and right outs. Then you've got your trigger out 
inputs, you know, for plugging in your pedals. Then you've got your audio recording in as well, which we did earlier, some sampling. It has 32 gigabytes of internal storage. So you'll be pretty hard pushed to fill that up, I reckon. So that's what I mean. You can put whole tracks on one pad on one thing. Once you've got them in there, the, you know, you're, you're good to go. So I, this was from a garage, garage band. Uh, no, what's... That's another one of Dean's. You can tell I love his impacts, can't you? Nothing in that one. Nothing in that. We can see, actually. See, no sound. That's the wrong speed for that, by the way. I, put, I was just messing around with loops. Anyway, yeah. So, like I said, it's 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 pretty deep. You get thirty kit built in sort of thing for you to mess with but like i said i think i had more from i i did some samples from from um, from garage band yesterday There's all sorts of cool stuff. Oh, this is one that I did. This is because I, I like I love roto toms. I've always does it contain preset loops? It yeah uh, yeah one or two one or two Tony one or two thousand. No, it does, it does tell you right. It contains, on, 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 seriously, it, it contains about a, 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 over, a, over a thousand loops. I'll definitely do another video in a week. I'll just, I'll tell you what I'll do. Let me just go to an empty kit here. So, <clears throat> this is a, an empty blank slaty, slated kit sort of thing. So if we go to, and you can put the loops on any pad. I just kind of think they're kind of cool up there because that would help me way, you know. So let's go to... We've selected our pad. The sound. There we go. Sound. So this is really just to show you the actual... I don't know how, how clearly you can see it, to be honest with you. Uh, we go to factory, obviously, and then knock over. And then there's China's acoustic, crashes acoustic, crashes electric, hand drums... Hybrid elements, kicks acoustic, kick elements. Af uh, so here's the first set of loops, African drum loops. So if we were to go into there, Afri here's African. Manuals titchy, they need a big, massive, big, massive manual. Um, and then you've got uh, loops, Arabic. Loops, loops, dance, as you know. Loops, dance, drums. That's cool, isn't it? And of course, they're on one shot, so you have to set them up for what's it. Um, then we have loops, dance, drum and bass. I mean, I mean, look how many there is. I'm, I'm not like, I'm just playing the first one, but. So that that kind of thing, you know. Uh, yeah, I'll have to go. It's oh, blinking heck, I know. Right, yeah. So that I mean, I've put some thick things in here now. Look. <laughs> 
there you go. I shall, I shall not be doing that one. Um, <laughs> it's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Like, let's see. I did because I didn't catch the actual thing. Uh, 174 BPM. Right, so 174 BPM. And then if I go to. What was it? Drum and bass loops, did I? Drum and DB and then DB drums. 174. So you, that, what you do is you just like it's a mode, isn't it? So with both of the, both of those. Both of those are loops, and loops are cool because you, you hit them to start them, then you hit them to stop them. So we could like just go. But imagine then now you've built up some other track at 174 BPM, another wave, you bang that in there, yeah? Or you can go round robin stuff, so hit one, hit another again, and it stops that one, starts the next one. Better for sounds, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, that's it. Is rustic? That's it. You can have an, oh, an entire gig loaded onto pads <laughs> in the into the thing. It's it's just off its head. It's it really is. I'm pretty intuitive because I'm not the greatest techie head in the world, you know. So for for me, uh, it has to be kind of dead straightforward. I because of my eyesight, I have to be able to see it as well. Otherwise, I'm screwed. I can't. I've had it, you know, it's too small. But this is lovely and bright. I like the I like the customization of the lights. I like the fact that, you know, if you're if it's if you know where you are with the pad, um, do you know where you are with your pad? You know where you are uh with with the pads, like if you depending on how you how you personally want to set them up to to respond to certain things. If it stops, you want the BPM flash and stuff like that. You can also set them up to stop and stop. To trigger to stop and start effects, uh, or you can do all sorts of cool stuff. It's mad. It is like you, you barely scratch the surface in an hour messing around. Uh, but I will get into it a bit more as well with different things. I want to get into it more, like recording stuff in off the iPad and that. And right, so I, I'm not sure where my pal has been, Tony. Not sure. It. Listen, guys, I've got to go. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks, Dean. Dean, I knew you'd like this. It's right, right up your. Uh, Right up your street, and it this kind of thing. But man, you think about it. Think about it. Six gigabytes of internal mem of like included sounds. That's like eight thousand samples and loops. Eight thousand. So I mean, bearing in mind a lot of them are like kind of the same thing with different pictures. But still, eight. And then thirty-two gig of internal storage. Well, I don't. Let me have a look at settings, and I'll I'll tell you. Because that might make sense, might it? Utility. System. Here we go. Space on internal drive. I have 23.35 gig of 30 gig. So 2 gig is obviously used up for the, um, the what's it, the software, you know, the, uh, whatever it's called, the, 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 the software version. Then you have six gig used already by the samples that they've already put in there. Yeah. And then you have, not, and don't forget, I've been loading stuff in there and I've still got 23.35, 23.35 gig garlic bread, 23 gig. Not in my lifetime. That is, a, it is, it's incredible. Operating system. That's it. Thanks, Paul. Operating system. Uh, yeah, so there you go. And we got you can even change the brightness of the display, so we can. I don't. We can make it dimmer if we wanted to. Or I quite like it at that hundred full. So you can see it, right? So um, that's yeah, basically that's it. You know, it's it's also nice for DJs or people doing or drummers 
doing because what you can do is if you're running off the headphones you can have the outputs routed and the auxiliary outputs routed to different things but they don't have to include the click so if you've that's the click you can just that the output the, the the level of the click the the sound So, and there's your BPM sort of thing. So, they, you can set your click up and stuff how you like. Uh, it is, it is heavy. <laughs> right, guys. Bless you for joining me this evening. I think next time we'll do like, um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll have to run through a few of the other kits and things so you can actually hear some of the nice sounds and stuff that they, that's included. Um, I just think it's very good. Um, yeah, but I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I've, I've, I've got this for ages because I got to do a load of what it's. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. It's very nice. I think the next one I shall do. I think we'll do a, a, a recording one sometime in the week. I guess. Right. Anyway, <clears throat> so you can see, <coughs> it needs, it needs, it does need quantization though because if you play it slightly off, it's slightly off. Thanks, Tony. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Ed. Uh, thanks, everyone. Thanks, Dean. Thanks, Stephen. Oh, thanks, Hazza. Bless you for showing up, man. Um, awesome. Top job. Cool beats. I will see you guys very, very, very soon. Uh, Alisa's Strike Multipad. Yes, yes. Ta-ta.